Legendary sprinter Veronica Campbell Brown has some words for Shakari Richardson, you see my people, and basically she will give her some advice that she should actually use Ilian Tamsehera and Shelly and Fraser Price as motivation, you see my people, you don't know say from 2021 Shakari is on a downhill spiral, and you don't know we seen a 2022 is a similar situation I have, you understand, remember from last year, in the Olympics at Tokyo, you don't know say she did come 8th place, she did actually place last, and this year they realized that she never qualified in the 200 meters or the 100 meters um for actually got oregon you understand me answer people so you don't know me go get in an article and this article will be talking about veronica advising shakari and stuff giving her some advice me should i say but remember when you see and they give shakari some advice she actually never want an advice from him and they will say alice felix give her some advice and she never want an advice from them as well you understand her from she as well so I don't know, but anyway, people, before we go no further in the video, make sure to like the video, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell on. That way you can get notified when I post a new video. In people, so this is what the story I say. Veronica Campbell Brown advises Shakari to refocus, use Elaine and Shellyan as motivation. If US Sprint Sensation Shakari Richards wants to achieve greatness, she should use Elaine Tamsehera and Shellyan Fraser Price, the two fastest women alive, as motivation. This is the advice of former track and field phenomenon Veronica Campbell Brown in an exclusive interview with Caribbean National Weekly. The now retired 100 and 200 meter specialist who won three Olympics. Olympic goals among her 48 medals was in Florida during the interview. Veronica believes that Shakari has the ability to do well, reference to the American personal best of 10.72 in Miramar, Florida last year. As for her retirement, Veronica has no intention of slowing down. Even though she is not on track anymore, she still works out for the fun of it, the health of it, and the benefit of it, she said. And there is no doubt that she is either, as her defined arms provide telling evidence. She's also an entrepreneur and manages her business that creates active wear products for active women. Our object is to help women live an healthy lifestyle, an active lifestyle. They don't have to be an elite level fitness it's all about making sure you keep moving you see it people so you don't know that's some of the article i never read out the full thing and thing but do you guys think that shakari can bounce back boy i know someone want to probably sick her name or someone want to probably just not really want to hear about her but at the end of the day still regardless of she not being active in well my position she not active in a track and field because i mostly post she make on the internet now and all these things in because you don't know only know the situation what happened recently why she wasn't representing the u.s team in oregon right people but other from that you know some people are tell her say other races will be there and things so i think she need all the advice that she can actually get and i think she should take all the advice advice coming from like people who known to to have done well in the sport and stuff like that but i don't know if she will take it you understand because if american legendary sprinter alice felix i give her advice and she no want to take it you see in bolt one of the fastest well me never want to say one of you see in bolt are still the fastest man right people so if him give your advice zine and you know want it then you know, it kind of seem like you may be stuck in your ways or whatever, Zane, because no few to run right now would have love to even get some advice from Usain Bolt. You understand what I say, people? I mean, he's the greatest of all times. And even when um, somebody come and if them beat Usain Bolt time, Zane, may I tell you know this, Usain Bolt, I go still be rated as the best of all times. Yes, what I say, people? And that's just how it goes, but... We have to watch and see if she go bounce back, you know. We don't know which race she go be in um, as it relates to like in the future and stuff like that. Or if she will be in any race, this race is this year. You see it, people. So you don't know me not really follow up every single thing as it relates to Shakari. Just like certain things where she posts on the internet and all of that. You see it, but... I mean, for me personally, I feel like she have potential. What other does she have for us? You know, don't get distracted because it seems like she easy to get distracted. As somebody makes a post about her, you know, she, she clap back her, she post some shades or, you know, when people are giving her advice, she not take it and all of them things. And even when the media post about her, you know, remember the other day she tell, I don't remember which um, sports page, 
tell them, say she don't want them post about her, or she go sue them and all them things. You know, you know, if you pick up certain things from your head, man, just, you know, chill, just focus on your craft and just master it, right? Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And also, Shelly and Fraser Price did make a post. I never did tell you, no, say I got to talk about this in the intro, because... I never know, I never talk about it, but I never talk about it. Shellyan make a post on her IG page, basically saying that age is just a number. That's what she basically says. I remember say Shellyan is 35 years of age, Ileana 30, Sherika Jackson at 28. Zine, my people. So you don't know, say, Shelly older than all of them, but the way how she perform, trust me, she perform like she about 19, 20. <laughs> You understand what I say, people? So, basically, she made this post on Instagram saying, Repeat after me. Faith, focus, fortitude, flying feet. Age is just a number. You see it, my people? So, that's what she have to say. Basically, she have no stop or stop right about now. But it will be interesting to see how far she can go. Because we see even man like Usain Bolt, who is also 35, just like Shelly and Fraser Price. He actually retired five years ago. So you see, and Muda say retire pretty young. Some people never even want him to retire. And you don't know, so some rumors did have surface. So you see, and they go come back to track and feel and all them type of thing. But that never happened, obviously. And I don't think you see, and Bolt have track and feel pan in mind, none at all. We see him go so bops and dabbling a little football. And, you know, it seems like you see, and just enjoy himself because he's in a football and he's also a music producer. You see me? Also an artist as well because remember him have a, um, a album where he drop him and the youth named NJ. You see it, people? So, he man in at everything basically. You soon see Usain Bolt go play basketball and thing. You see it? So, I guess he's just enjoying his life and just enjoying himself. Plus, he have him business them. You see what I say? The call centers, the um, tracks and record places. Places them where I make money off because they may use him name and it's just a good look for him, you understand? So him could actually retire cause them man they rich from 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 them time there. So right now I'm even richer. But anyway, people, I just have shown us that some athletes retire late and you even have the guy named um, Justin Gatlin who actually retired at the age of 40. You see it? So as I say, I just all your feel and stuff. So Shelly and Fraser Price, you know, look like she have no, no slowdown or slowdown now. Will she be the one for actually break the women's um, world record, Flojo record, people? Because that is a hard record, you know, you see me? Even though she made it clear that she not put world record on her head and that's something she get up and think about every time she go run and all them type of thing, you understand? And of course, you can't put it on your mind because you don't want no form of distraction when you go up on the field. You want your, your brain for just be smooth and no not not upon your mind i mean it would be nice if she beat it still but um anyway people let me know what you guys think about this you see me big up yourself shelly and and also we're gonna go up on a post where Ilian did make pan fear instagram page you see me people and this is what she said don't crave immediate results take the difficult route which puts your patience under fire and upgrades your lion heartness you see it, people. So she say, yo, don't think you're going to get immediate results. As you start to run, you're not going to get the results the way you want at the same time. So don't crave it. Just put in the work and you will eventually see what you are working hard for. You understand me? So that's what I get from it and thing. So you don't know the thing still. I just show you the post that she make. And you guys can tell more anything. You see me? I want to big up all our athletes them same way. Um... Yeah, them are going, them are do them thing, you know. So it's definitely a good look. Females, them definitely are going better than the man, them. I'm not telling a lie. And remember me, this is somebody make a post in on people. See, you know, say, yo, you see from you seeing ball gone. Come like the man just gone with the whole track and feel. You understand what I mean? say? We now get, as it relates to like the man race them, you know, people have said the excitement is not there like that anymore and them thing. I'm not lying. I remember when you see and running on people. The man just make it look so easy. You understand? Remember when the man there run left people and you could have even be ahead of him and the man just whoops and pass. You see me? We not get them excitement there in a track and feel anymore, people. Just in general. You see me? We still have to big up the man at least them in, in, in a Jamaica. You, know? you see me? But I don't know, people. I don't think we're going to ever have another UCN Bolt with all of them things there. You see it? But 
that that's it, you know, people. You see me? I'm going to leave the video right now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You see me? Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.